rocking with the best. Welcome to Easy Invest. We're going to talk about the 14 cities that on July 1st in Ontario are going to have physical storefronts in place. The Ontario government just announced these 14 municipalities last week. So let's go ahead and pinpoint these for you in case you live in one of these cities or in case you don't live in one of these cities and you're just like, what the fuck? How am I going to get my marijuana? <laughs> So let's go ahead and count down to 14 nine, cities July 1st eight, that are going to be seven, ready with six, storefronts five, in place for recreational four, marijuana three, legalization. Two, let's get it. Yeah. First, first city, city in, in this, this list, list goes by the name of, and we're going in alphabetical order here. Barry, Barry, anyone in this beautiful town is going to have one storefront available to them. Brampton, home of the Green Monster. You're going to go ahead and have your own physical storefront. Hamilton, Hamilton Kingston, Kitchener, London, London, Mississauga, which is spelled M I S S I S S I. No, that's Mississippi. Mississauga. M I S S I S S A U G A. Mississauga. West side of Toronto, I think. Shoot. Uh, can't forget the capital of Canada, which goes by the name of Ottawa. You will have your own physical store, which the whole city of Ottawa can line up at. Lucky for you. Salt St. Marie, which I've never been to. You will have your own physical marijuana storefront. Congratulations to you. Sudbury, Thunder Bay, the city, the city of, Toronto. of Toronto. So I, I don't know exactly how this works. This is what it states in the article. In preparation for the federal government's plan to legalize cannabis by July 2018, the Ministry of Finance and LCBO have identified an initial 14 Ontario municipalities intended for standalone cannabis stores by July 2018. I don't know if this means these municipalities will have one store or multiple stores. I'm guessing in Toronto they should have multiple stores or else that's just a bit ridiculous as is this whole layout that Ontario has decided to go with. The last two municipalities are Vaughan and Windsor. If Canada really wanted to address the black market the cost of marijuana from these lps wouldn't be so expensive it wouldn't be such a high tax on marijuana which just pushes consumers to the black market because you can get it for so much less i really question the layout by the government and what is going on because it doesn't make a lot of sense and you already had all these great companies in existence throughout ontario that could have been used as part of the plan they could have worked together but instead the greedy government wants all the profits as usual which is a bit disgusting right there was such an opportunity for canada to work hand in hand with people that are already passionate about cannabis had been pushed to the black market because of how marijuana was perceived before now these people have an opportunity in a growing market or they should have the opportunity to grow within the growing market yet the government's just pushing them out what are they going to do they're going to continue to thrive on the black market with a fuck you government mentality i don't know I don't write the laws. I just see a lot of mistakes in what Ontario is doing. Ah, oh, man. I don't even know what to say anymore. This is Heasy Invest. These are the 14 municipalities that will be up and running with physical storefronts by July if the government holds strong with the legalization of marijuana by that date. I hope you live in one of those 14 municipalities. I grew up in Kingston. Maybe one day I'll go ahead and visit that physical storefront. Enjoy your weekend. I'm out. Boom, boom, boom. Rockin' with the best. best, best.